Yo, Elliot, I just wanted to send an update on my current situation and ask a quick question also. I sent you a question a few months ago and I really, really appreciated your response. I've recently passed my last finance apprenticeship exam and I'm going to be leaving my job at the end of the year to go on an adventure. Your opinion was that this is the right thing to do at this stage in my life and I'm in complete agreement with that sentiment. My question is, do you have any advice on bringing peace to my current situation? I really don't like my job at all, but I'm very competent at it. I'm also, I also feel like I'm giving a lot, but I don't get much back. How can I calm myself down on a daily basis and not get too worked up? Many thanks for your help. So it sounds to me like you're leaving your job at the end of the year, right? And then going on your quote unquote adventure. And so what this gives you an opportunity to do, right? Because there's an end in sight. It's always easier to deal with things when there's an end in sight, right? Your mother-in-law is coming to stay with you, but it's only for a week. So you can bite the bullet and shut your mouth just for a few more days, right? Uh, same thing even with school itself, right? Like I remember like being in fourth grade and I'm like, wow, I still got to go to 12th grade, but at least there's an end to it, right? Whenever there's an end to something, it gives us resolve. It says this too shall pass. It's not like something that's eternal, right? And your job is not eternal. You say by the end of the year, check it out, bro. We're in September, October, November, December. You got three months. You're saying, I don't really like my job. I want to bring peace to my current situation. Well, here's how you bring peace to your current situation. This too shall pass. You got to remember that, especially when you know that the time is looming for it to pass. And I would say this. I would say that it's good for you to stay with your job right to the very end. Right, It's just three fucking months, bro. And I think what that's going to do is it's going to build your character. It's going to teach you or even show you that you can do what you have to do, whether you feel like it or not. Because guess what? Life is wrought with having to do things you don't feel like doing. I had this conversation with one of my daughters today. We homeschool, right? And so on Tuesday and Thursday, it's daddy day, right? So daddy, I do Bible study and then I do training in the gym. Well, one of my daughters today, she decided that she didn't feel like training, right? So she was pouting and she was like trying to, she was just giving a lackluster effort. And she, then she left to go get something to drink in the refrigerator, in the refrigerator and didn't come back. And, uh, and me and my wife, Colleen was training with us too. And she's like, uh-uh, uh-uh, she's got to come back. I was just going to let her go. I was just like, whatever, whatever. I have no, because I'm focused on who wants to be focused. I'm like, all right, go. But Colleen, she's, that's why she's my girl. She's smart. She's like, nope, I ain't letting her get away with it. Colleen pulled her back in and said, get your ass in here. And I'm happy she pulled her in because then I was able to step in and it, she really set it up so that I can talk to my daughter, which I think Colleen realized that's what she wanted to have happen. You can't just ignore your daughter. So kudos to my wife. So Simone comes back. Oh, I gave her name away. She comes back and she's looking all pouty and she don't want to do it. And I had to explain to her just what I'm explaining to you right now, that you know, I'm not even worried about you doing this workout. I don't really care if you miss this workout and it's going to make you, this workout is not going to be the end of your life. It's not going to slow down your results or your progress. It's not the workout that I'm even concerned about. What I'm concerned about is your character. And right now you're showing up as somebody who is a quitter. Somebody who, when things get uncomfortable, when I don't feel like it, that I drop out, that I quit, that I don't see it through to the end. And that might be okay here now that you're homeschooling and you're with your parents and it's just a workout. But I'll tell you this, there's a time when you're going to go out into the world and you're going to have a job, right? Like you do right now. Or you're going to have a family. And I had to be transparent with her. I was like, do you think I want to deal with you every day? You think as a parent every day when I hear you whining or I see you and sisters complaining or you guys are being ungrateful or I got to go do something for you that's an inconvenience to me, do you think I want to do that all the time? But do I do it? And I had to remind her of something that I did for her the other day. I was like, do you think I really wanted to do it? I had to go out of my way and your mother goes out of her way. We go out of our way to do things for you. Do you think we are always joyful about that? I'd rather be doing something else, but I'm committed. I'm committed to you. And so I'm going to do it anyway. 
You've got to learn that skill. That's a fucking skill. You gotta learn the skill of doing what you have to do whether you feel like it or not. And it's good to practice it in these types of situations. When it's just a job, you're very good at it, you don't like it so much, but it's almost over. By the time the workout was done, my daughter was glowing. She was glowing. She was happy again. She was making jokes. She was bouncing all around. I was like, hey, how was that? Not so bad. It's all over now, right? And she's like, yeah, I'm happy I did it. She was happy she did And once again, kudos to my wife. She kind of knows the children. And she's like, I know she's going to be happy if she do, just does it. And she was right. She got it done and she was happy. I think the same thing will happen to you. You give your best, give your best for the next three months, finish this job, and you'll be happy that you did. You'll be happy that you finished, man. There's so many times things like this have shown up in my life where I was ready to quit, and I'm happy I didn't. I'm happy I didn't. And I think you'll be happy you didn't too. Mainly, not for what you're getting from the job. You say, I give a lot, but I don't get much back. It's not about what you're going to get back. It's about who you are becoming. It's about who you're becoming by seeing it through. Dude, hope that helps. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students where, among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. That sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.